All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me begin my show by saying hi. Good day to everyone, or Muraho, or, you know, Namaste, Nihao, you know, whatever language you speak. So I, I, I'm glad I can speak more than one language. <laughs> All right, uh, this is me, Paru, coming to your screen live, and uh, I'm with my guest, a very attra attractive lady, you know, I might, I might add that. And uh, my guest is actually um, well known in this uh, cinema industry, well known all over the world, not only uh, in Africa or Rwanda, but well known all over the, uh, the, the globe. Uh, he is a, she is, I'm sorry, she is a recipient of uh, Poulain d'Or uh, from Fespaco, and uh, she's actually coming uh, from uh, uh, Switzerland, I believe. Uh, Swi Switzerland from a uh, uh, festival, Swiss, Swiss festival, I don't know, she will uh, uh, enlighten us more. Let me welcome my guest, Miss Kanharama Gahigiri. Thank uh, you. Did I, did I Hi. Pronounce, did I pronounce your name right? Yes. You did. It's a, it's a name from Rwanda. I'm I Rwandan. I know, but you know, the, <laughs> the, way, the way other people say it, it, it sounds like uh, Kanharama. Is it? <laughs> yeah, no, we, were, we were just talking yeah. about yeah. this ability to pronounce in multi-language, you know? So, unfortunately, they mispronouncing, but right. thank you for making honor to my name. Thank you very right. much. <laughs> well, welcome to TV10. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure. Well, a pleasure is all mine, actually. Mm. Well, let's talk about your movie. Mm. Uh, let's begin about the, the, the recent movie uh, you just made, mm. and uh, it has it has actually won uh, Poland Door mm. and uh, Fespaco. Mm. Your your movie, well, it's called Ether Reality. That's right? correct. Yes. Ether Reality. Ether now reality. this name this name is really complicated, mm. you know, because of when when the people read the b b actually the first time I, I pronounced this name, I think I made a mistake because I say e the reality so I, I have to apologize now <laughs> <laughs> so w what about the name actually let's begin with the name what where the name came from and what does this name mean to you or, or, or to the movie yes uh, I, I think it's good to retain a little bit of mystery uh, in a name you know uh, okay so that's why I wanted to give it an, a name that is a bit special uh, also to reflect what is said in the movie, it's best represented by this name because what is ether reality? Ether reality is ether and reality. So it's talking about um, the fifth element, basically. The, the, the what is not measurable, what you leave behind when you leave your country. So um, I wanted to sound a little bit poetic as well to give um, justice to the form and the tone of the film. So that's why it's a reality. Mm. <laughs> now let's talk about the movie itself. Mm -hmm. So w what, what is the movie about? You know, now that we know the name, but what is the movie about? It's a, it's a short movie, right? Yes, it's a short film. It's, a, it's actually a documentary, mm -hmm. but it's also a hybrid documentary that mm -hmm. combines science fiction and real people. Right. Um, it's about, it's about uh, leaving home. It's about what can you find uh, on the other side. Are you able to recreate a home or not? What links us all together? It's about dignity. It's about sovereignty, it's about um, self and your link with uh, your community. Sure. So it, there's a lot, as you can see, there's that a lot in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only 15 minutes. For sure, mm. F 15 minutes, that, that, that's what it is. Mm. 15 minutes, mm. right. That's the ether reality for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's ether reality. So now, let's talk about uh, your experience in Fespaco actually mm. because uh, I believe it's not your first time in festivals with this movie or in general no in general uh, no 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 it's not the first time that I'm uh, yeah, that I'm having a project in festivals for no. sure because b well, the way actually I introduce <laughs> you you know 
well known. So it means like, you know, you've been in a lot of festivals. I was, yes, um, I was fortunate because all my projects have uh, toured around the world in festivals, mm. I've uh, gathered some awards uh, for the film, for the actors I'm working with. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it's been, it's, it's been a, a good run, it's been a good run. Sure. This one, um, it's actually been also touring the world with festivals such as Chicago, which is an um, Oscar qualifying festival, or uh, Namur in Belgium, which is also an uh, A class festival, or Clermont Ferrand, mm. or I mean, this is really specific for film circles, but it's, it's, it's being showing in Europe, in the US, seven times, I think, in Brazil. Wow. And, uh, but most important to me, it's also been shown on the African continent. So sure. in Ivory Coast, in Senegal multiple times, mm. in Kenya, in South Africa, and uh, it's coming to Rwanda mm. in a week from now. In a week from now. Yes. Actually, that, that, will, that, that will be one of my questions. Uh, let me ask you now, because most of, um, uh, most of films most of let me let me call it festival films let me call them uh, festival films most of the films that uh, went to fest uh, festivals we ended up not seeing them on on the local screens i know so, it, it's so it's a concern but um all my projects have been screened in rwanda mm. all of them with mm. no exception this one is mm. the last one and it's coming in one week it's very important to me that we are able to show what we do to our public. You know? when, when you said the last one, you mean? The last one? You, uh, you, are we not going to see any, any film from you? No, what no, do you no, mean no, the no. Last I one? mean the, the current one. Oh, OK. Let's sure. be precise. Sure. Right? <laughs> no, 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 Ooh, no, no, boy, no, 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 I <laughs> hope there are going to be many more. Sure. But um, this one, the current one, mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. So now, wha what, is, uh, wha wha what do you think is the reason that uh, most, most of the film that's, uh, you know, been around uh, or been screened in uh, many festivals or that, that went to festivals don't ended up coming to, to local screen? What do you think is, uh, is the reason behind? So there are multiple reasons for that, but uh, one of the main reasons is distribution. Sure of films and access to it mm. and uh, we've been very vocal with the film community that we needed more spaces to be able to showcase our work sure. but uh, I think it's starting to gain momentum here in Rwanda so now we are able to see films from the community here sure. uh, the timing is usually always also a bit um, um, you see, you need to do the festival run first because it's a matter of a premiere and then you can screen mm. uh, more openly. So the theatrical screening or, or, or private screenings, they usually happen after festival run. Mm. So this is the timing now for Eta Reality, mm. which we're starting next week, but there, there could be more screening than just once. Mm. Mm. Well, um, I don't know. I, I was uh, I was planning to ask you maybe like a couple of questions about that. Mm. Um, so maybe let me go ahead and ask you another one relating to the to the same question that I, that I just asked you. Because when when we see uh, those uh, kind of films, festival films, coming to the to to, to local screen, mm. most of the time uh, you don't see m more people going to to. To uh, watch, mm. you know, and uh, most of the people that are there are either related to to the film mm. or related to the to the film community, mm. you know, maybe other directors or writers or something like that. But then, uh, like um, uh, other people, the mm. the the, the movie going people, most of the time they don't even know wh when the screen uh, the screening is happening. You know, now I was wondering, like my question is, because there's, we had other screenings 
for 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 movies for for films that that didn't go to to festivals so they 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 do publicities they they go around talking about 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 the uh, their movies are coming out uh, they release date. they go, they do uh, media tours and stuff and um, for the for for those festival movies they don't do n nothing like that you know mm, the next thing you know you know your friend sends you a, a, a picture you know my movie screening at uh, you know this place so um my question is like do do people uh, do, those f uh, festival film they they don't uh, publicize or if i should say that because they say okay there's people behind who who supposed to be pushing this or you know maybe i already got my money so i don't care you know what is what is the problem with it no i think you know um publicity is a job on its own mm. right mm. so uh when you make a film you have a part of your budget that is usually dedicated for publicity for distribution and uh, for making this noise that you are talking about, mm. right? Mm. But when we produce independent films, we need the support also to be able to do that. Sure. So it's a different, it's, it's not me as an author that can uh, create a, a campaign. It's, it should be the people who are distributing, I don't know, whichever Hollywood movie, <coughs> that are putting the same effort mm. in films from here, from Rwanda. And it's not, let's not call them festival films because mm. uh, the other ones are also sometimes going to festivals. Let's just mm. call them films, right? Sure. The, the, the problem mm. is that um, which film is going to show you um, to talk about here, to talk about what is happening in, he, in, in, in your own society, to, mm. to talk about your cultural values, to, to showcase basically Rwanda sure. on an international level. Sure. It's not the film from Hollywood, it's the film from the filmmakers that have been made here. Mm. So this is why we are working now towards having a better system that can support the distribution of these films. Sure. Because it's important that the people from here see that. Mm. And uh, in Rwanda, the industry is quite young. Uh, but if you compare, for instance, with Tanzania, they have their own movies and they have a big audience for their movies. Mm. Uh, you can find the same case in Nigeria, for instance. It's very well known. Nollywood, millions of people are watching their own films, right? So the idea would be, in the best case scenario, to build this here as well, mm. because uh, I think it's very important to find your audience and, and to speak to your audience, right? Mm. So if we're making films, Rwandan, Rwandan filmmakers, Rwandan authors, they want the Rwandan audience. So we need to be able to create this missing link. Mm. But the content is here, is being made, mm. and the audience is here. It's just a matter of sure. making them meet. Sure. Uh, you have talked about uh, your, uh, mo your your short film uh, Eta Reality. Actually, I'm loving the way <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm, I'm pronouncing now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it gets better and better. Sure, sure. So, uh, you have talked about how this uh, uh, film have uh, have been in uh, uh, Chicago festival or something like that, and uh, it's a uh, Oscar nominating uh, uh, or qualification. Qualificating for sure. our festival, yeah. Festival. So, do you think there's a chance that uh, you know maybe we 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 will see Ether reality in Oscars? In the you Oscars. You know, um, I think he did much better than that because for me, Festpaco is mm. the best is the best festival it could have been. Sure. Because uh, it's the biggest festival mm. in Africa. It's the one where everyone is meeting. Sure. And uh, to win top honor there. Uh, it's a beautiful run for the film because it, this film is talking about us. Mm. Um, the Oscars, it's nice as well, mm. but um, let's see. Let's see for a feature film. Sure. Let's see for later. <laughs> let's not get everything at once. Uh. Let's keep the surprises for one by one by one. Sure, but you know, <laughs> well, why, why not have, know. have everything at once? You know? Right? right? We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll see what's coming. So let's talk about uh, your experience in Fespaco. Is it your first time in Fespaco or? 
So have it's my there? second time. Mm. It's my second time because mm. uh, I have been two years ago, I mean, actually two and a half years ago with mm. COVID, mm. the dates are a bit uh, changing. Sure. Um, I was there uh, with uh, Joel Karakezi because mm. uh, uh, I worked on his yeah. film, The Mercy uh, of the Jungle. Sure. So we attended in 2019 mm. and uh, it was also quite successful and amazing because mm. uh, Joel got the Golden Stallion with sure. his film. Mm. Which is and the so biggest, right? It's the biggest. Right. It's the best prize mm. for the whole continent. Mm. And so it was a big honor to be there and to experience mm. that with his film. Mm. And so now I'm going back the second time with my film mm. and we also get sure. gold. Mm. So <laughs> Pespaco is has been a very good experience. By the way, the reaction I'm seeing in this video is actually priceless. You know, you, the, <laughs> the way, the way you, uh, you reacted when they called your name, you know, uh, like, like no, nothing can top that, right? <laughs> But you yeah. can see there's a lot of pressure and uh. you can see all the people in the room. It's, mm. it's quite massive. So Wha uh. when they announce your name, it's uh. all the adrenaline. That what, what was the category your film was uh, nominated in? Uh, short films, short documentary film. short films. With uh, all African, other African movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's competition. So sure. um, it's, uh, it's films from the whole continent and the diaspora. Mm. So. I don't know how many films there were, mm. but then you screen your film and, and, and I don't know, like the tension is building over the week, right? Yeah. Because you see the other ones again and again, and uh. then suddenly uh, it's the closing ceremony and then they announce. And they announce first the special mention and then the bronze and then the silver and then the gold. So it's like, so, wow. Uh, <laughs> and you are in the gold. <laughs> Wow, that's, that was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, actually, the, the, the last time we, I, 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 I spoke to uh, um, uh, Mutigan, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you guys were together in this uh, uh, fe Facebook call, mm -hmm. and um, she, she, she talked about how uh, she was, I mean, he talked about how he was excited uh, when he got the email that his film was selected, mm. you know, and, and he couldn't keep it a secret. Yeah. And it's actually f a festival policy, you know. Yeah. Now I'm asking you when, you, when you like get an email saying, okay, maybe now you have been to a lot of uh, festivals, but for, for, the, for the first time when you see, uh, when you saw email, or however they sent you uh, a message to you know official communication to uh, let you know that you were selected what was your reactions i'm sure it, it, it can be better than this one i don't know <laughs> <laughs> maybe it can top this one uh, maybe it <laughs> can uh, but this one is a pretty good one sure but you know yeah. you know fespaco is a dream you know uh. it's like it's it's uh, it's an institution mm. it's been there for more than 50 years sure you know, so we've seen all the big ones, the big names that have been selected there. Mm. And you make your films. And uh, when I can assure you, when you get this email, it really, it really is very emotional. Mm. Even for me, I have my previous films and this film have participated in multiple festivals throughout mm. the whole world. Mm. I think Fespaco is very special. Sure. It's like it has a, sp it has a space in your mm. heart. Mm. It speaks about us as Africans. Yeah, sure. you know, and um, it's legendary festival. Yeah. So when you get this email, I'm, I must assure you, it's <laughs> like very emotional. Yeah. And and the fact to participate is that is it. You know, for mm. me that was that was the mm. that was the gift. I was like very happy and and honored that my work is recognized. Mm and that we can showcase there. Sure. Winning the award is on top of that. It's, it's mm. like the extra that little plus. Hints mm. the, the reaction. <laughs> yeah. Hence Hence the reaction. Yeah, hence the reaction there. Yeah. Did you uh, break protocol as well? Like maybe go around talking to, to, your, to your friend, be like, oh, man, you know, I got nominated, you know? You can. <laughs> You can't. You shouldn't. Yeah. You shouldn't. <laughs> I know you shouldn't, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> some do. Some do. You shouldn't. You know. 
Well, let's talk about other other uh, f uh, film of yours. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to mention that uh, you have uh, received an award from uh, 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 Sw Switzerland Movie Award. Is it the uh, Switzerland Diaspora Award? Ah, yes. Uh, recently, the mm. last week, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes. You are winning everything. Uh, I don't know. It's come. It keeps coming. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I have don't to get fooled. I have don't to be in fooled. your team. I don't know. Don't get fooled. There's <laughs> a lot of work in, I know. <laughs> in yeah. the backstage. For sure. Yeah. So uh, maybe you, you can uh, talk about this award for, for, for a while? Yeah, I think this is um, uh, special also because um, it's for diaspora. Mm. And... Uh, People are starting to be very vocal in mm. Europe sure. uh, about our place mm. and uh, identity, dignity. Mm. And mm. so having events like uh, Switzerland Diaspora Film Award um, is very, inter it, it starts, it's, it's very interesting sure. and uh, it's, it's a big honor to win that. Yeah. Is, it, is it for uh, Ether Reality as well? It's, uh, it's for Ether Reality, but it's also, uh, I think it's, it's broader than that, sure. actually. It's also for other work so that I did. So it's for Kanharama? It's for my work, yes. It's for the work I did during sure. this year. Mm. Um, you might know that I uh, co-curated a uh, film program uh, in, was it August? No, end of July mm. in Fribourg, which showcased um, films from Rwanda, so n it was called New Territory, um, Rwanda, it's, it's the denomination from uh, the festival, mm -hmm. and it was showcasing more than 21 films from Rwanda. Mm. So I think it's including all the work that I'm doing in Switzerland for shining a light on what is going on in Rwanda mm. and vice versa all the work that I'm doing here, so mm. it's kind of like both. I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm, I'm seeing here like a list of uh, nominations you have and uh, uh, awards you, you, you received and stuff. I li like the, if, even if we have two days, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> think we, we, we will be able to get through all, all of those. <laughs> You know. I told you how long do you have for this interview because uh, well, we can keep going for a week maybe, or maybe. Uh, maybe I need to call <laughs> maybe I need to call my, my superiors and ask for two days. Yeah, maybe. You know, maybe <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's get food in the studio and then let's keep going. <laughs> right? Yeah. So let's talk about uh, your other work. Mm. What what uh, because uh, the name Kanharma is not is not new in um, Rwandan ears, uh, Rwandan people ears, or mm. even on this uh, uh, continent. Mm. But let's talk about like like what what are the work uh, uh, people may know you about? Well, I think one of the the the, the very special moments here was uh, when we were screening Tapis Rouge. Mm. Um, we opened uh, Mashariki Film Festival, um, the first edition with the film. There was a thousand people in the room. And uh, this film also went around the world, won awards in the US, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And to show it here... I like the way you say everywhere. Like, you know, <laughs> man, I've, I've been around, you know. <laughs> no, no don't, don't play with me, you know. I, you know, just... Yeah, yeah like, it like happens. Yeah, eh? it happens. Yeah, Actually, like the yeah. it's every time you show the film, it's a special moment. Mm. Be it here, be it somewhere else. If you have a thousand people in the room, or if you mm. have ten people, you never know what's going to happen. Actually, that's why I was uh, I was uh, uh, you know flabbergasted by your 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 reaction at first, Paco, because I was like, you know. For the for for someone who have who had like won everything, you know, you would think okay, and the winner is, and you go like, well, you know, I know, you know, you, you know. No, you and know, this is the most special award that I got. This is the this tops everyone. Right. This is the most special one. Ah, uh, so. It's like it's like the World Cup, you know. It's like mm. it's oh the be it's the biggest one, oh you know. Man. So <laughs> compared to the World Cup, you know, that's big. <laughs> that's big. Hence the reaction. Answer but y it's not just me reacting. You can uh, see everyone around. They're also like cheering. Uh, and, and who took the video, by the way? 
Actually, as a matter of fact, you know you Clementine? Don't know, right? Yeah, Clementine, I know. I yeah, know. she yeah. took the video. She took the video. She, she, was she jumped placed. fast, right? She was placed <laughs> with exactly the right angle. We are a team. Oh, my God. We right. are a team. Right. Actually, she, I, I think she is the first one to, to post. She was the first one to post that she won. You know, I saw that she won from, from her okay. post. Okay. And I was like, yeah. okay, good. Yeah. You know? So you know, we're tight. We're a team. Sure. Us sure. as random filmmakers, we have to move yeah. around and, and, and support each other. Sure, you know? sure. Yeah. That's, that's actually wa one of, uh, you, know, mo uh, you know, important thing to do, yeah. right? I, I, was, I was going to get to, to that one because uh, 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 throughout the years, you know, we have seen uh, uh, most of the people, they, they, they would like to uh, work uh, solo, you know, okay, I say, and at the time was because most people didn't, didn't want to share credit, mm. you know, they, they wanted to say, okay, if this film gets uh, recognized or gets credit, you know, I have to take everything, you know, if I'm, if I'm a writer, I have to be a director, I have to be a producer, I have to do everything, even cinematographer, I yeah. have to do everything, if I, if I can even act, if I can set... <laughs> You know, the camera over there, and then go in front of the camera, you know, <laughs> deliver my lines. You know, I want to do everything so that if, if, uh, if a any nomination comes, best actor is me, best director is me, best writer is me, everything is me. You just said but camp on the stage so sure, you stay, and sure. then they keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> but now it seems like now people are more open mm. to do actually great work by working it f uh, with each other mm -hmm. you know and uh we are seeing the the the, the fruits coming ar alive you know because we have seen uh, many people uh receiving awards clementine have uh, received an award from Facebook as well uh joel kalechezi as well uh, you did yeah. uh kivu, kivu did yeah. Um, uh, uh, Mutiganda. Mutiganda has one, you know, like uh, ev 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 now, now Rwanda is collecting everything. Rwanda you know? is like on the forefront, you know, we're pushing, we're pushing, but uh, it's what you're saying mm. that uh, together we can go further, you know. Mm. If I'm on my own doing everything, there's only so much I can do. The strength come in uh, the numbers, you know. Mm. If we are able to support each other, create this network, mm. uh, this is what you're seeing now on an international level. Mm. Uh, we mentioned all these names. There's also Samuel Ishimye. There's mm. also Philbert Babazi. Mm. There is a younger generation now that is, I mean, generation. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Younger filmmakers that are yeah. also uh, at the forefront. Ines, I mean... Mm. We're here, we're pushing, sure. but we're also making in sure in that mm. we're not the only one getting there because mm. um, we want to create something that is bigger than just for one person, you mm. know. And uh, for that, it takes um, collaboration and not everyone has the same skills. Mm. And you have to be humble enough to mm. acknowledge mm. this is my strength, sure. but then here, I can work with this person mm. and the project actually will get much better. Mm. Well, speaking of not everyone have uh, the same, uh, ha having the same strength, mm. I was wondering like what makes a festival film? What, what makes a festival film, if I may ask you like that? You know, you, you say, okay, let's not talk, uh, let, let's not call them festival films, but you know, in, for the matter of people understanding what I mean, you know, because we have a uh, film that goes to festivals and we have uh, other uh, independent films, but so what makes a festival film? Like, is it uh, equipments? Is it uh, uh, maybe you, you know people? Or is it uh, uh, skills? No, no, no. I think it's sensitivity, you know? Mm. But as an artist, you're not making a film for a festival. Mm you're making a film to express something. Mm. And uh, if you're in tune with what's going on around you in the society, if you have a point of view, if you have something fresh, you know, if you have something unique, personal to say about it, this is when festivals are going to be interested in what mm. you have to say. Mm. So if you're trying to copy or emulate or, or um, make some work that is mostly commercial, this is not going to work. Mm. But even though 
you craft something that is mostly your point of view and artistically, et cetera, et cetera, you're never guaranteed mm. that it's going to have a festival run. Mm. You're never guaranteed. So it's a big risk, in fact. You never know. Yeah. And it's not about who you know. It's not about... Um, there's no secret. I, ca I cannot give you... I, I wish <laughs> I could formulate mm. like a secret that unmissably mm. would grant you festival run, but there's none. So w I think what's most important to say is uh, authenticity. Be true to yourself. Find mm. your voice. Mm. Find what is what you want to talk about and, uh, and do you. That's the most important. If you do you and you show something that is um, a concern of your society or, or actual, I think you have best chances. But even like that, it's not guaranteed. Mm. Man, now, now I'm devastated. I, I, I thought maybe, you know. Tough business. Yeah, I, I thought maybe tomorrow I'll be in first for call, but mm. all right. <laughs> I told you, I'm yeah, a professional. Yeah, you know. it, takes, it takes some time. It, it takes it takes some time. It takes time. It mm. takes a lot of work. It takes, of, of of course, it takes craft and equipment. It takes, mm. um, yeah, talent. Mm. It takes a lot of things. Mm. And what we see is mostly the ten percent of the the iceberg mm. top. Sure. But there's ninety percent of work and and yeah. hard work and suffering yeah. and Late and night. and doubting yeah. and and reevaluating and getting better and learning mm. and so yeah sure. it takes time what what, uh, what was your first first movie and uh, what is the impact that it has it, it, it has to you or it has have to you on you so the first movies i've participated in mm. i did it in another function i was working in the production team mm. so um there have been many, many projects that I worked on in New York as intern, assistant, et cetera, et cetera, until I produced. And uh, these ones had, let's say, the entry. Um, they gave me entry in the industry. Mm. And it was very interesting because I could learn the craft. I could mm. be surrounded with like really top professionals. Mm. However, um, I was still missing something. It's not my expression, right? So in a second step, then I started making um, short films because this is what you, as an entry level, right? This is what is most um, attainable in the first, in the first place. Mm. And so I made this uh, series called Me Plus You uh, mm. in, in the US, but it's very tainted with uh, American uh, environment that was surrounding me at, the, at that time mm. uh, but it changed things because once you're there and you see that you can express something and that it's showcased and people see it and it's heard then you understand that you have uh, power to actually touch people make them think make them change so after that this is when I came back to Europe and to Rwanda with the next uh, project, mm. Tapis Rouge. Mm. And because I wanted to be closer to people that are uh, from my origin or, or uh, that can connect with what I'm trying to say. Sure. Right? Mm. So um, this is how now uh, it's very important for me to be working here in this region and, 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 um, and change something in people's mind you know art is has that power mm. it can touch you it can make you question and and make you better or even change the society sure so this series was your first made your first own the first one yes so it was uh what did you do yeah did you uh, did you write it i wrote i co-wrote it actually mm. we were three people writing it i directed uh, it and produced it produced it and uh like the feeling of having your your own uh product out there 
you know, you're, you're like your own baby, I should say. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a baby, you sure. know, it's like you want to protect it, mm. but also you want to put it in the world. Sure. So it's, uh, it's exhilarating. Mm. And the first time it gets selected in a festival, wow. Mm. And then it's been screened also in some TVs in the US. Mm. And so it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it, it's encouraging for the. But you know, when you do this, you already know, because you're working on the next one, mm. you know that you have learned and you have grown. So you know you can do better. And it's mm. about always improving. Mm. So the first one is like the first shot. Sure. But you know you're building from there. Sure. What if someone wants to work with the Kanharama? Hmm. Hmm, it is right. <laughs> yeah. I, get, I, get a, I get sometimes people who are asking me uh, how and when, et cetera, et cetera. Well, um, I, you can follow me, and, and when I will need additional people, I will send uh, a word out. Mm. But uh, at the moment, like sometimes you, you work alone or with a very small crew and then at times you crew up mm. and then you look for other people so sure. this is when i would look for other people mm. but at the moment i'm writing so uh there's no need to come to <laughs> <laughs> behind me <laughs> and look over my desk sure. Sure, <laughs> but on the next stages um definitely definitely i will need at some point some people mm. definitely so like now you have uh, uh credits uh, of of uh, producer and uh, you know writer, so but you I, I believe you are saying that as as a writer, right, or as a whole. No, I'm saying this as a writer director because uh. I don't produce anymore. Oh, you don't I, produce no, anymore. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't because uh. uh, you know, like I said, you have to be humble enough sure. to see where is the strength and where you can build a team mm. and it's impossible to do everything mm. because it's very time consuming mm. energy consuming and so at the moment i'm uh, writing directing mm. and uh, i'm saying this as this as this quality mm. uh, that once i'm getting into uh, the next phase of a project like produce like production where we actually shoot this is when i have to build my crew mm. yeah Okay, so now that uh, Rwandan films are going global, and but I know, like that. I like you, that. I like the sound of that. Sure, sure. <laughs> it, it sounds good. It sounds then. good. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Rwandan films are going global. Well, now, now that are, that are, that are going uh, global, what do you think, or what what do you see, or where do you see? Uh, Rwandan industry, film industry, in maybe, let's say, five years from now. Mm. Where do you see this industry from five, uh, uh, five mm. years from now? Mm. It's a tricky question because, mm. you know, it's not an industry yet. Mm. We have named the people who are making films. Sure. But um, we need support, you know, without funds, uh, without a school, this is not going to be able to grow. Mm. So uh, five years, five years is not a long timeline for a film because mm. it takes five, seven, ten years to make one film. Sure. So, but let's say in 25 years, um, there's a big potential here. There's really big potential for um, original storytelling, mm. for showcasing uh, our culture. Uh, it's it's a very it's a very important um, um, vitrine, I want to say. It's a very important uh, way to present Rwanda on an international level. Mm. But for that to be possible, uh, we need to support the films that are made here. Sure. Yeah, and this is for what we are also fighting together mm. as a filmmaking community, mm. because we can have. Um, one project sometimes, but we would love to have more and, 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 and be able to be more present on the, mm. inter in the in international scene. Sure. So. Uh, when you say it's not going, it's not going to grow, you know, some people m may be scared, you know, like, okay, what? 
I'm yeah. not saying it's not going to grow. Mm. I'm saying for it to be growing mm. sustainably, sure. it needs some base, you know? That's mm. what it needs. Now, now what, what, what do people have to do to make it work? What, what do people, maybe filmmakers, uh, uh, politicians, mm. everyone involved, mm. what do, do, do they the have base. to do mm. to, to, to sustain that uh, mm. uh, strength? That's why, that's why we had a discussion also uh, at the round table in Fribourg with uh, officials from Rwanda mm. and us. It's, we need to support the base. And mm. if you look at countries where the industry is working, mm. um, Senegal or Tunisia or South Africa, they have a fund that supports the filmmaker and this is how filmmakers are able to make the project, create, create revenue, because mm. when you make a film, you employ a lot of people. Sure. So you create revenue, and then you also create an object, a film, mm. that is going to showcase Rwanda on an mm. international level. Mm. So. Well, uh, maybe one of Malay's uh, uh, questions. We have... Um, uh, a federation, mm -hmm. or so we call it, mm -hmm. you know, Rwanda Film Federation. Yeah. Now, when you see, you know, you, you, you say maybe, you know, we need a lot to grow, but when you see this institution, I don't know if it's, it's institution, you know, yet, so does Rwanda Film Federation help in any way? Yes, of course. Yes, it, of course they do. We mm. are in close con communication mm. and we're implementing with the Rwandan Film Office, we're implementing, um, we're talking about what are the next tools that we need mm. and, and it's been ongoing. We are mm. very close, we discuss, mm. of course. Right. Yeah. So um, uh, all we need, I think, is um, just to come together and uh, understand each other and, you know, maybe... But we need that fund, though, right? Or maybe... That would help. That would help. <laughs> that would help. You know, mm. a film is very costly. Mm. Unfortunately, it's not like writing a poem. Sure. You need equipment, you need mm. a school, you need to be able to um, mm. train all the young, the young aspiring filmmakers, mm. right? Mm. So all these elements, but we're in talks. And I have high hopes sure. uh, in 25 years, because five is mm. very short in, sure. our, in our timeline. But mm. I think 25 years is a good, is a good way to, to approach the future. Let's hope we will still be there. You know. Well, it was really nice to have you on this show. And uh, I hope maybe next time we'll uh, have like two days, you know. You know, we, <laughs> we will uh, try to get two days and uh, everything here. And uh, we talk about you and uh, uh, b because you have done a lot, you know, we have, mm. you, you have done a lot. I told <laughs> you I was going through your, your credit and it was incredible, you know, that I was like, even two days, I don't know if we, 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 we can put it off, you know. But uh, it was a pleasure to have you here. And, Thank you. Uh, I hope, you know, maybe the next time when I, when I invite you, you will uh, come by. Mm, thank you for having me. It's do a pleasure. You, do you have anything to say, like uh, last, last, uh, last thing to say to your, you know, fans, maybe your random people, you know, people all, all over the globe? Well, I want to say that filmmaking is a long journey. So mm. if, if you're interested in it, uh, don't despair sure. and keep going because it takes a lot, but the reward is there. And uh, we have potential here. So I want to encourage young filmmakers to try and make their projects. Sure. And thank you as well for having me here. It's always nice to um, come and exchange about ideas and, and work. So thanks a lot. Well, it was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, all the time we have, uh, we had, and uh, I, I appreciate you uh, sticking by your TV, uh, watching this show, because, man, we have a lot to come, uh, we have a lot to talk about. This industry actually is not going to build itself, we have to do uh, our part, everyone needs to, uh, uh, to do something, you know, it's not only about the writers or directors or producers, it's not only about uh, uh, 
us like uh, a TV station or journalism is not only about uh, the government, it's all about us. We are, uh, after all, we are talking about, about our life. We are talking about our country. We are uh, contributing to the world, helping people understand how other people are living and how to overcome uh, problems that, f that, that, that people are facing in the society. So uh, without further ado, let me say goodbye. And uh, my name is Paru. I'll see you in the next one.